Hi, my name's Keith Weinhold, and this is Get Rich Education. We're gonna look at wealth patterns today, wealth patterns and mindsets of the poor, the middle class, and the wealthy, and compare the three, and show you how you, as an everyday person, can adopt the mindset of the wealthy. It doesn't take any special skill. So, poor people, what do they typically do? They typically work for money, and they don't have anything left over, and that's okay. They provide something valuable to society. Middle class people also typically work for money, and the difference is middle class people often have some money left over to invest, so they get some of their money working for them, rather than just working for money. And you know, most middle class people and ordinary people think that if they can just get their money to work hard for them, so that they don't have to work for money, that that's the best and highest use of their investing dollar. Well, I'm here to tell you that is not true. If you only get your money to work for you, no matter how hard it works, you will not acquire wealth. You might just might get a secure retirement by the time you're 68 years old, but that is probably about all. The poor people, they merely work for money. Middle class people also work for money and they have some of their money working for them too. But you probably notice there's extra room up here on the board. Well, what do the wealthy people do that poor and middle class people are missing? What wealthy people do is they get OPM, other people's money, working for them. Okay, other people's money, is that legal? Is that even ethical for wealthy people to do that? Yes, it's actually both. When a person invests in real estate, you have the ability to provide housing for someone that's clean, safe, affordable, and functional. Never get called a slumlord. And you have the ability to make use of a lot of things that the poor and the middle class are not doing. You have access to other people's money three ways as a real estate investor. The first way is you use the bank's money, other people's money, to create high rates of return with financial leverage. Secondly, you're making use of the tenant's money for monthly income and principal pay down on your loan made by the tenant. And then thirdly, you're using the government's money for generous tax incentives like tax depreciation and a mortgage interest deduction. So the wealthy are getting ahead by using other people's money three ways at the same time, and you can do this too. So while the middle class, you know, they're still kind of thinking about things like compound interest and that that might create wealth for them. It's a revelation to people to learn that compound interest at any reasonable rate of return that you're gonna get does not create wealth. Again, it might and only might create a secure retirement for you if you've only got compound interest working for you. At the same time, wealthy people have leverage. They get great rates of return because they're using other people's money with leverage. Another paradigm that the middle class typically use is budgeting. I mean, who wants to go through life budgeting and cutting back and living life half dead and being frugal? In the meantime, the wealthy people have cash flow, typically made by tenant rent income. So wealthy people are able to live better now, they're able to live better in the intermediate term, and they're able to live better over the long term. And you know, a middle class paradigm is that you should live below your means. Who wants to go through life living below your means if you don't have to? What wealthy people do rather than live below their means is they expand their means and middle class people, often they strive to be debt free, but once you're debt free, you've lost your leverage. You have the ability to outsource your debt payments to tenants completely. So rather than focusing on being debt free, wealthy people focus on being financially free. It's significantly more powerful. And this is something that's available to everyday people. So those are the wealth patterns of the wealthy, the middle class and the poor. Um, again, my name's Keith Weinhold. You can check out my resources at GetRichEducation.com where we talk about how to maximize wealth creation. I'm also the host of the Get Rich Education podcast. You can hear me every week on iHeartRadio and iTunes. And I'm also a contributing writer at the Rich Dad Advisors blog. Again, my name's Keith Weinhold. Thanks so much for stopping by.